demonstrate for you the band assisted posterior hip mobilization. So one of the ideas behind this technique here is that we're going to be freeing up some of the uh, tissue or possible tightness that's in the back here. Really helpful for working on any sort of uh, athletic positions where we're trying to reach down to the ground and grab onto a weight, specifically your deadlift positions. Uh, anybody that has tightness here in this either posterior hip, posterior chain, hamstring area, this is a great option for you as well. So with the mobility band here, one of the things we just want to start off a little bit higher up uh, anchor to where we have that. In this case, I'm using the, the rogue doorway option, but again, if you have something you can tie it off to, like a banister, uh, if you're at the gym, you can tie it off onto uh, you know, a, a rack or whatever you have available to you. Uh, and this is again a little bit of a thicker band. There are thicker options out there, but uh, we generally want to have a, a thicker band when we're doing these types of things for mobil or mobilizations. So we're going to start with, I'm putting this on the left uh, side, left thigh as high as I can go. And you want to have it up as high as you can tolerate. And then you're going to proceed to bring yourself forward on the ground. So uh, once you're in this position here, the goal is to put as much tension as you can tolerate. And then you can either put both hands down, one hand down, whatever you feel comfortable with. The goal with this is to try to get the knee to straighten back and put the calf or the heel on the floor and then let your butt come up toward the ceiling. If you're doing it correctly, you're gonna feel a stretch from here, anywhere down, even as far down as the calf. So you can work on pushing back like so. And you can see I got some tightness here. The goal would be to work on tension on, tension off. So we're just working that, like flossing or gliding or mobilizing. So the goal of this is to do uh, anywhere between 20 and 40 repetitions per side. You can even do it without your hand, okay? After you're done, you can stand back up. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to repeat and do this on the opposite side as well. And then after, just, you know, Double check, see, has it improved your range of motion? Can you do a forward bend? Do you feel the tension like you felt before? Oftentimes what you'll feel after doing that is you'll have more flexibility, less tension in the back of the hip. So that's an option for you. Give it a try. Good luck.